A zoonotic disease is an infectious disease caused by a pathogen that is transmissible from animals to human beings. Brucellosis is a zoonotic infection transmitted from animals to humans by the ingestion of infected food products, direct contact with an infected animal, or inhalation of aerosols. It can be caused by four different Brucella species in humans. They are Brucella sui, Melitensis, Abortus, and Canis. Among these, Brucella melitensis is the most virulent, followed by Brucella sui. Each of the species has different kind of animal host. For Brucella sui, the host is swine. For melitensis, sheep and goat. For abortus, cattle and for canis, dog. All brucella species are gram-negative, non-motile, facultative intracellular coccobacilli. They do not form spores or toxins. The disease is transmitted from animals to humans by consumption of unpasteurized milk and dairy products, consumption of undercooked meat, or skin penetration of those in contact with livestock. It also has been shown to be transmitted by inhalation of contaminated aerosols, conjunctival inoculation, blood transfusions, transplacently from mother to fetus, and rarely from person to person. Brucella species are facultative intracellular bacteria that have the ability to avoid the killing mechanism and proliferate within the macrophages similar to other intracellular pathogens. When ingested, Brucella organisms are phagocytosed and enter the intestinal submucosa where they are transported to lymphoid tissue by macrophages. Symptoms frequently last for several months and chronic infections with brucellosis may last for years. Clinical features include high swinging temperature, rigors, lethargy, headache, joint and muscle pains, scrotal pain, enlarged lymph nodes, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly. Osteoarticular involvement is a frequent manifestation of brucellosis. The joints most commonly affected are the sacroiliac joint and knee followed by hip and spine. In men, various genitourinary infections including epididym orchitis, prostatitis, testicular abscess and seminal vesiculitis have been attributed to brucellosis. The most frequent genitourinary complication of brucellosis is epididym orchitis. Hepatosplenomegaly can be detected in physical examination and blood chemistry may reveal elevated transaminases. Brucellosis can lead to nonspecific hepatic inflammation, granulomatous hepatitis, and rarely to cirrhosis. Brucella bacteremia can cause abscess formation in the spleen, liver, or in other organs. Neurobrucellosis is a focal complication of brucellosis affecting both central and peripheral nervous system. Neurobrucellosis may develop at any stage of disease and may have widely variable manifestations including encephalitis, meningoencephalitis, radiculitis, myelitis, peripheral and cranial neuropathies, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and psychiatric manifestations. Brucellosis may be diagnosed by blood cultures in tryptos medium. However, because of the slow-growing nature of brucella, the cultures may take a week or more to become positive. Culture of bone marrow has a higher yield than blood cultures. Standard agglutination testing is the most common method of diagnosis in endemic areas. A single high antibody titer of more than 1 by 320 or a fourfold rise in titer is needed to support a diagnosis of acute infection. The test usually takes several weeks to become positive, but should eventually detect 95% of acute infections. Laboratory testing on the patient may show anemia 
leukopenia or pancytopenia, as well as elevated C-reactive protein, erythrocyte sedimentation rate, serum lactate dehydrogenase, alkaline phosphatase, and transaminases. The cause of pancytopenia is poorly understood. However, due to splenomegaly and absence of hemolysis, hypersplenism was implicated as the cause of pancytopenia. It is also possible that brucella organisms exert a direct inhibitory effect on marrow cells or they induce lymphocytes to release mediators that inhibit hematopoiesis. CSF culture in neurobrucellosis is positive in about 30% of cases. The laboratory should be alerted to a suspected diagnosis of brucellosis as the organism may infect laboratory workers and must be cultured at the appropriate biosafety level. Erosion of the anterior superior aspect of lumbar vertebrae with osteophytosis is associated with spondylodiscitis caused by brucella. Spondylodiscitis is an infectious inflammation that affects the vertebrae vertebral discs and adjacent structures. Disc space narrowing, bone destruction and sclerosis may be seen on imaging. This is an MRI of Brucella spondylodiscitis. Hyper intense signals are seen involving the number 3 and number 4 vertebral bodies. There is a breach of the anterior half of superior end plate of lumbar 4. There is a fluid signal intensity traversing the lumbar 3 to lumbar 4 disc and extending to the inferior end plate of lumbar 3. Management Doxycycline is used in conjunction with either streptomycin, rifampicin, gentamicin, or sulfamethoxazole trimethoprim to treat brucellosis. As the bacteria resides within cells, several weeks of treatment are needed. Treating with a single antibiotic should be avoided as there is a high rate of relapse when a combination regimen is not used. For adults with acute nonfocal brucellosis, a six-week course of therapy incorporating at least two antimicrobial agents is required. Complex or focal disease may necessitate three months of therapy or more. The gold standard for the treatment of brucellosis in adults is intramuscular streptomycin together with doxycycline, but increasing evidence supports the use of an aminoglycoside such as gentamicin instead of streptomycin. The usual alternative regimen is rifampicin plus doxycycline for 6 weeks. In children, a regimen of trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, and rifampicin for 4 to 6 weeks may be used since children should not be treated with doxycycline. Pregnant women may be treated with rifampicin during pregnancy with trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole added postpartum. Significant neurologic disease due to brucella species requires prolonged treatment, for example for 3 to 6 months, usually with ceftriaxone supplementation of a standard regimen. Brucella endocarditis is treated with at least 3 drugs, an aminoglycoside, a tetracycline and rifampicin, and many experts add ceftriaxone and or a fluoroquinolone to reduce the need for valve replacement. The infected heart valves of patients with endocarditis may need to be replaced and repair of aortic and aortopulmonary fistulas may be performed. Surgical debridement and bone grafting of patients with spondylitis are also performed. Although it may take time to obtain control of the symptoms, the prognosis for most patients with brucellosis is excellent. The overall risk of relapse is very low. However, in patients with comorbid disorders like heart or lung disease, the condition can be disabling. Unlike many other infection disorders, the condition tends to improve with physical activity rather than bed rest. The recovery usually takes 3 to 6 months. Thanks for watching this video. You may like to watch other videos in this playlist. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done yet.